Well, hello, hello, everybody on internet land. This is Michael Nerve 2005. We're back. More of me kind of just speed rushing the 13th doll. And yes, Libby, you should make a mule emote. Or any emotes. I got slots. Is that it? Why is the brightness? Hold on. Let's turn that down. Oh, that made it worse, I think. This is such a nightmare. Ugh, fucking settings. I don't think that affected shit. These articles. <laughs> Absurd. How could any rational person believe these lies? How could an entire town believe this? effects broken on this. One second, we're gonna do a thing. Young fool, should have known not to do something like this. Now look what's happened. He's right. I've gotta find Tad. I've got to bring him back. Well, I've gotta make things right. Tad's not ready. I've got to get him back to the asylum before it's too late. Well, we're here. How's you guys looking? So... better but yeah I think I'm a stuffed mansioned out but I have to see this to the end so I'm kind of just gonna use the guide uh, 13 
Tav, there you are. We need to get back. I'm not going back to a padded cell. Tav, I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. I, I overestimated myself and the impact this place would have on you. You're not ready for this. Tad, are you listening? You shouldn't have followed me, Doctor. It's not too late if you leave right now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And now I can stop this here. Please, leave for your own sake. Tad, if you don't come with me, it could cost me my job. A lot more here to lose than just your job. Sure, I think I need that. <laughs> Fuck you, stop. It's the answer to the first riddle in uh, the seventh guest. Give me the soup. Soup song. <laughs> we have to always with the soup in this series. Get the brains out. Perhaps this phone still works. Three circuits must be completed. Crossing electrical walls will destroy the phone. Colors are the key. I'm gonna try to finger this one out all on my own. It's still fucking loud. You're one fuse short of a circuit. Playing this shit. Damn it, I'm a doctor, not an electrician. Perhaps this phone still works. That way. That way. Now that I see it, it's fucking easy. It's 
wonderful to see you're not letting your education get in the way of your ignorance. All right. Well, we did that. Hello, Dr. Richmond. How? Who is this? Oh, please. <laughs> the hypothesis, Doctor. Whom might you think? Stop. Ah, yes. Very good. When I'd heard you'd been hired by the asylum, Doctor, I knew you'd come here. You're a good man. A brave man. Strong. Driven. Willing to help. And, Doctor, I need your help now more than anyone. I need someone with an appetite. That is, an aptitude in medical science. To help me restore my good name. <laughs> you, you may have heard that some in our little community believe my toys have killed their children. That's absurd. I impossible. Precisely. And you, you can help me prove that. In turn, I will help you. I can give you the recognition you so desire and so deserve. Just imagine the headlines, Doctor. The accolades. The awards. How can I help you? <laughs> well, you see, before the incident, I was building a very special new machine. It was to be my greatest work, but sadly, it was destroyed. The key pieces, the, the living elements, were lost and randomly scattered all about what remains of my house. You must find those pieces, Doctor, and complete my machine. But how? Good luck, Doctor. Wait. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop? Oh, stop. We know you're fucking with us. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, to the music room? I mean, damn. Locked out again. Ah. Ted, you little shit. To the music room! Ah ha 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 ha! Tee hee hee hi, We're finishing up the Stoff legacy. With a fan made game. It turned out quite well. I just lost my patience with puzzles. Kinda ready. Boo! <laughs> Hello? Little Melvin. Doing all right, doing all right. How are you? How was your stream? Or is? I can never tell. The fact, as much as the bloom effects in this game suck ass, this picture will live in legacy forever. It's actually disc two of the uh, original seventh guest has that picture on it. This is me. But how? It can all be yours, Dr. Who said that? Show yourself. They did not mix the audio right in this. Meh. I give up. I give up. The 13th doll. You win. You beat me in audio. 
I'm kind of just done with this. There's a catchy tune at play here. Oh, fuck me running. Well, shit. Give me a second. Third one needs to be this one. I think Tad's puzzles are a lot easier. So we're going to build from the bottom. So you're actually where you need to be. I have to eyeball this for a minute. Nope. You. You go here. It's wonderful to see you're not letting your education get in the way of your ignorance. Yeah, my fucking redneck education at some shithole town. Mm -hmm. Using it to its finest, actually. That one's there, that one goes there. I'm gonna set you down. To use my head. I'm not good at this. Wait, Nani the fuck? Do you turn around? Hold up. There's a hard of hearing setting now for this puzzle that will show you the name of the notes on the screen. Shit. The brain works just like new, since you never use it. You need to set the fuck down. All right. Those two at the bottom need to be not that way. So skip two. Actually, you need to go that way. No, you don't. You two need to switch spots. Okay, that looks right. <laughs> no problem, Evil Eska. Wait, what? I fucked that up. like the goddamn picture. Oh. 
I see what I did. I'd ask a penny for your thoughts, but I'd get change back. Fire one, Fox three. I would have never gotten this on my own. <laughs> All right. Nino Torpedo. Poor Die Forever is probably watching this in lurk mode, being like this dumb motherfucker. Three games in a row, and he's gotten worse since the seventh guest. Contrary to your opinion, sir, I've gotten lazier. Perfect. <laughs> to the dining room. At least this game doesn't... I don't know why the bloom effect's so ridiculous in this game. I tried to the dining room. All right, where's all my Easter eggs? That's what we're doing. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Found another VIP. Not really looking for all of them. Just kind of a cool thing the devs did. Your jackass off. I have no idea how this pattern works. Oh, uh, no. Don't even care anymore. What is one of those the nurse? Oh, look everyone. It's him. He's here. Finally, the guest of honor has arrived. Splendid. Now we can begin the party. Oh, yes. Dr. Richmond, do come in. Join us, won't you? Try the soup. It's to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Half of my struggle with this game isn't the game, it's the audio mixing. Trying to do this shit live's a nightmare. <laughs> Off we go to the library. See that one without making it bigger. Do 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 do. Can't wait to play a game that requires a controller again. <laughs> I love these games though. I really do. The seventh guest and the eleventh that well, the seventh guest was my childhood, and my the eleventh hour was my nightmare. I'm just glad this game came out. It's a good game. You're getting sped ran. <laughs> have to take nine away. But which ones? So many squares, they must be broken. Remove the segments one at a time to reach that goal. Boop. 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 I said boop, motherfucker. I always thought you were a little square. I have no idea what the point of that was. The Stauff family history. On a lovely fall day, Henry Stauff met Lilith Antonia. They soon fell in love and were married. Lilith Antonia became Lilith Stauff. But wedded bliss would not last long. Henry Stauff was a brilliant inventor, but his devices were ahead of their time. The Stauff family fell into financial hardship. Lilith left Henry abandoning him out in the cold. But Henry never gave up on his dreams. He turned his invention into toys, dolls, and games. The toys were adored by children. Everyone wanted a Stauff toy, and Stauff created an empire and amassed great wealth. He built the mansion on the hill, but grew quite lonely. Lilith had become a drifter, moving from town to town. Oh, shit. Near a grocery store That's there. a call out to she had the seventh no guest. No possessions, possessions no, no life, no, no dreams. Then one day Stolf sent for her, his long lost love. Now Lilith and Henry Stolf were together again, and Henry began building a machine, a machine that would be his greatest work. But Lilith became envious and greedy. She wanted Henry's fame and fortune for herself. She plotted against him. She fell ill with a virus, a virus that spread throughout Stauff's toy store, contaminating his dolls and toys. And then, children started dying, clutching Stauff's toys. toys. Stauff's reputation was ruined, and his empire crumbled. Lilith had destroyed his greatest work. It was her last act before she succumbed to the virus and died. Heartbroken and financially devastated, Henry Stahl fled his home, vowing to return only when he could find a partner to help him rebuild his great work and restore the reputation of the Stauff Empire. I like how they did the callback to the seventh guest when it was Henry Stauff that was homeless. He was a drifter, moving from town to town, helping a gas station there, 
a grocery store there. And then one night, she was walking home from ter- church. Henry Stoft killed her. He took her be- purse and he ran. This was the lowest. And that night, the vision came. Stop following us and leave the boy alone. Speaking of Lilith. <laughs> We'll go do one more room, then we'll call it a break. I think I'm going to be okay if I get through one storyline and all the endings that are involved. Because if I remember this game right, it does kick me back to the last puzzle. not going to give me any love for the picture that's up here. The hands. Hmm. That wasn't ominous at all. the puzzle. I want to find all the triggers. That must have been important. channel are you again? 9 and 10? We're going to have a weird relationship. This puzzle won't weigh me down. Yeah, I'm not trial and erroring this shit. Question mark? Yellow. I'm gonna assume this is green because of the bad fucking lighting. I figured it out with the god. One should see the world and see himself as a scale of an equal balance of good and evil. When he does one good deed, the scale is tipped to the good, and the world is safe. When he does one evil deed, the scale is tipped to the bad, and he and the world is destroyed. 
What in the metaphysical bullshit was that quote? What? Yes, he is wonderful, isn't he? He has found the cure to the virus that has cost so many lives, held so many more of our friends, our families, our children. It has been an honor to work alongside him. Please allow me to introduce my mentor, my colleague, my friend, Dr. Mark Richmond. Thank you for your kind words, Anna. And now, in front of our friends and colleagues, I would like to ask you a question. Will you please spend the rest of your life with me? It Awkward. Can all be yours, you met her tonight. One small thing. Finish the machine. Finish the machine? Yes. I'll finish the machine. I'll finish the machine and make everything right. You're a weak man, Dr. Richmond. Fallen for stuffs. Tom fuckery. But on that note, we're at episode cut time, so uh, let's clicky clack the button. On that note, this is indeed Michael Nerve 2005 with the Burbies. I will see you guys next round. Stay tuned. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw today, feel free to click the random video YouTube has picked for you up in this corner. Also, don't forget to subscribe right there and hit that notification button. We'll be doing uploads as much as I can off of my Twitch channel. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.